We got uh, this whole wild ass party. We got Russell Brand. He ain't talked to no niggas yet. <laughs> Would you not be talking to the niggas, talking for the niggas, like speaking to those issues? You need to pay off my student debt. <laughs> And Obama got the nomination, and they snubbed Cornel West. My nigga was never right again. My nigga, <laughs> Bennett, my nigga was never right again. Like that's like the anti Erica Badu of a nigga. Okay, well, listen, I am so glad you wonderful people decided to join me. I was looking forward to this <laughs> because because I had decided I was not having any collaborations or people appear on my show unless I really felt an urge to want to talk to them. And when it was announced that Cornell West was running for president under the People's Party, I text each and every one of you individually. <laughs> and all of you gave me some semblance of nigga. <laughs> <laughs> So I was like, we must convene. Surely we must convene <laughs> because there's so much to unpack. <laughs> and the nigga Illuminati. Yeah. I just pronounce it like me. The nigga Lami. Yes. Negro Melati. No. Listen, the Negarati. The Negarati. Negarati. Oh, Negarati. Listen, I'll put that on a t-shirt. Send that to my location. I love that. Right. right. Listen, right. like a hundred percent. All day. Re- Rebecca was calling it Olay and Friends, and I and I literally texted my editor. And I was like, I like that. Oh look, I like that. Look, Olay and Friends. You know, yeah. being friends on your show. Like a morning so- show. <laughs> not, listen there for it but that's not like a morning <laughs> show this good late night show <laughs> yeah it was it's giving friends and less um uh single what is it living single living single yeah it was giving friends so a lay friends sounds cute to me but if we want to give it a look because i know you know you know i gave living single you know that's the whole i even have the show in the living single style format on my show yeah. anyhow cornell so dr west you know what? You know what? You know what? You right. All right. Dr. West. All right. Because I never called him Cornell. Okay. Okay. Dr. West. All right. Um, I'm listen. Right. I I respect. I all the respect is is paid, and I genuinely. That's why I didn't put out nobody's tweet. Nobody's nothing because I do not have a hot take. I just have questions and explorations that need to be had amongst other like-minded black people, different perspectives, different things, because lots of whys. What's going on? Why the People's Party? Why the People's Party? Why that? But then also I'm like, hmm, the things when we get to unpacking with the problems with the People's Party, I'm like, is that also not true of Democrat? I don't know. You know, I'm like, mm, you know, then I'm like the whole third party thing. Lots of impact. Like I said, lots of impact. Somebody, somebody hit the floor. That was the, to be honest with you, from a, from a, from a, from a philosophical standpoint, I, I'm going to start like, all right, all right, Mr. Lee, do you, what, what you put my weight on? Affirming blackness or negating white supremacy? Mm. And then I thought like, being keep the stack. That's what I thought. Like, what, 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 what am I more invested in? Am I more invested in being affirmed in blackness of black people, or am I more affirmed in being against white supremacy? I think that's a very uh, simplified distinction to be made. But also, okay. in speaking like, hey, uh, Ron, Ron, Ron the Santimonium, and uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, Trump and Trumpy Trump, they about to, they about to, they about to really get into some things. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking right. of like peep game. Do I think any white conservatives are going to vote for Dr. Cornell West? Hell no. Do I think any black conservatives are going to vote? Hell no. Do I think any people that would vote for a Democrat or a liberal going to vote for him? Yeah, but it's like, do I want to get caught up in the, the, the horrible bullshit ass, but the third party type away from the... So I get back to my question again. What do I, in this, in this moment in 2023, what do I think is more central? Well, let me ask you this. Okay, that question is valid, but then I, I think it it requires this question. What do we think he's doing? Which is Cornell West? Does Cornell West running for president? Which does it do? If any. Because last month he wrote a he wrote an op ed saying that Ron DeSantis was a revolutionary. Don't do him like that. Don't do him like that. Don't tell me and I said, don't Twitter. Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay, I did that already. Okay, for it. I said 
said, yeah. I said to the most everybody <laughs> said a job. Like I minutes. said, hey, listen, okay, listen I I'm an equal. I'm an equal opportunity. I said it's... it to y'all so that y'all can come so that y'all have somebody. It so let's right with my shining now. It, it's, so, so, so let's let's be look at, let's look be conscious. clear. Look at conscious. It was definitely an L article overall. <laughs> it's not as bad as Ron DeSantis is a revolutionary. Did but he not it, use the word? No, it's not he, he, he did. He did. He dead ass yeah. made a whole game. Yo, you want me to read it? No, it's not bad. I ain't gonna lie. No, it, it is really not bad. I'm really not dragging him. So grab, I'm really not dragging him. He grab that link. Like, he he diplomatically. Said it. He's a sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't get. So I watch. So I'm about to. I have. A, I have tonight for y'all. I have a mix of takes from people whose opinions I respect that I've talked to thus far and or watched their shit and my own opinions. So I want to start with this one, which is I got mostly from um Dr. Jared Ball from uh Black Power Media. Oh, yeah. And he was basically like Cornell like a lot of like, and maybe it's that era of like scholars and academics that like came up in a, a a different era of like, you know, what black or Africana studies might've been has like a, a, a fetish for white Anglo centered kind of anything. And so I guess for whatever reason, he's been aligned with this thing of bringing the classical philosophical arts back into prominence even at the cost of so many uh, other bad things. In this case, what I understand in the article is the uh, the classical, what, what, what do they call it? Classical, um, what is it? Classical learning test. Yeah, it's the classical learning test instead of the SAT, which basically the SAT, first off, all this shit is bullshit. But the SAT is bullshit in a, like it's, it gets a one, it's, it's a, it gets a six out of ten white supremacy score. <laughs> this classical learning test is sounding like a good nine point four out of ten white it's supremacy pretty, score. It's, pretty <laughs> it's yeah. absolutely it's, bullshit because look who runs it, Jeremy Tate, and I got smoked for his ass because he from, for you, he from I think he's from Louisiana. He went to LSU, whatever the hell. Listen, I'm always have smoked people who come from my state. If you want some bullshit, Jeremy Tate co-wrote that article with Cornell West and. I, it, it's fine, whatever you're talking about, like whatever. You as a black man, though, just because you sit on the board of this organization, because I didn't know that until I read the article, he sits on the board of that organization for the classical learning test. This is not about education and bringing classical. Ed- this is not about that, though he does and has for many decades. Cornel West will tout himself as, you know, leaning on philosophy, leaning on literature, leaning on like history and things of that nature to re- avoid repeating it in the future. This is not about that. This is about Cornel West. This entire thing is about Cornell West. This is not about, oh, we're going to stop DeSantis because he agrees with this, the, his approach to education is what I got from that article is that he is in some form of agreement with this. He is in awe, not in agreement, in awe of uh, uh, his nigga. approach. <laughs> <laughs> this is about Cornell West because in what, awe. it's so hard for a lot of black folks, especially to get on one accord about Cornell West because he is not somebody that can really be nailed down because his opinions on things, his stances on things change as the wind blows. It's, it's depending on what's hot in the streets right now, where can I fit in and whatnot. He has some hardline stances and whatnot. I do believe that he does, he is a democratic socialist. I do believe that he does believe in that, but I know that that's absolutely clouded by his religious uh, affiliation and how he, how he feels about certain things. But Overall, his stance has changed depending on who's running. He's supporting somebody. This, like, it's just his, he has no hard line stances on things. And that's why none of this matters. And none of this is about it. <laughs> you know, to, no, to you Gabri- know what's crazy? Yeah, no, go. No, go for it. No, to Gabrielle's point. Like, I mean, like, for me, when I saw that man endorse um, Jill Stein, yeah, that was for me. Like, I, like, I was just like, all right. Because, like, to be honest, my part in short, especially with Cornel West, like from a political standpoint, it, he remind me so much. And I, I know this could get clipped Trump. So like, I want this <laughs> to get in context, but like <laughs> him and Trump have something very much in common, right? Mm. Yeah, consciously yeah. stick with me. Hold on. This man, Cause I know this man, right? The Kendrick Yo. Claude cat, come on, just like, I just yes. lean in like, tell me more good brother. Yeah, tell me more like, what you about to say about Dr. West. I would love to hear oh, how you want to make mute, this analogy work. Mute me, man, cause your belly get broke down. No, for real. Cause I mean like, 
<laughs> no, le- legit, just like how Trump went on the whole Bertha thing and really was ready to upend Obama because of what he said at the correspondence dinner. Same thing when Cornel, Dr. Invite. Cornel West, when Do- Dr. Cornel Do- West <laughs> gone and Obama got the nomination and they snubbed Cornel West, my nigga was never right again. My nigga, <laughs> Bella, my nigga was never right again. Like, that's like the Auntie Erica Badu of a nigga. Like, I talk about, fuck, that ruined my boy. Like, for then, he has been, he has had a hard on, a direct path, a tunnel of vision for trying to legitimize his stance. The hubris that comes with being in academia and being at that level and, perf- and, and performing at that level and then being denied what you see to be rightfully yours and entitled to, he ain't never been right. So this... Is, he was an Obama supporter. He was a strong Obama supporter too at the time uh, before. I would be offended by that. You think they gotta oh. let it go? But in no, no, I gotta No, he has to let it go. It's absurd. I'm gonna get to it. But Jesse the initial, Jackson let it go, so so watch but the me. initial? Did Don't I have a corner West then and you didn't invite me? Well, well well if not me then who? Dad Bell was a past, I'm alive. Who else? <laughs> then did Michael then Mary <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's one thing that actually reaction to what he lost. So he's coming back. What what um old boy said he's he's leaving with something. Okay, he's leaving with something. <laughs> I'm leaving with something. Mm-hmm. Okay, and, and and what I what I see when when Olay first hit me with oh, um that doctor Cornell West was running for president. <laughs> I said, girl, no, what? Like, because I was in the movie theater um watching Black Mermaid. And I'm like, this is crazy. See, I leave for one second in, in the palace. It's, 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 it's falling down. And we have so many psychopaths that are running for president. And I don't think Dr. Cornell West is a psychopath. Me, you know, a little crazy. But it, I do think that, okay, he's philosophical. If you went to an HBCU, if you went to anything, if you're a black person, you've learned about this um, Dr. Cornell West. We've known, we've celebrated him at some point. Then, you know, we got our own thinking and we don't have to agree with everything that he says. Um, love or mean it uh, but when, you be, <laughs> when you're walking the line of becoming president now we have to look at you different now we gotta be like now we gotta dig like I was telling Olay earlier into your closet I don't think we're all ready mm-hmm. for what we're about to find out um, will it mm-hmm. why are you running um, how does that benefit us like are you running off of the strength of emotions and like I lost something and like that's all I mean it ain't really you know I'm Dr. Cornell West are you running off of that or is there really something that's like I really would love to know but I think that that's going to be have to that's going to have to be something we see uh, as this campaigning starts to grow but I'm so confused because I want to I want to love them but already it ain't been 24 hours and Ole is sending articles that's having me be like, I'm not ready for this. No, I'm going to yeah. tell you what it is Rebecca. This is a cash grab. Okay. This is a cash grab. That's all this is. This is a cash grab. That's, that's, that's a hot take. Hot take. Hot take. Hot take. Get it how you live. Get it how you live. This is a cash grab. Okay. Yeah. Let me tell you something. The most successful. Who was the most successful third party candidate in history? It was, uh, or Ross is it Perot. Modern mm-hmm. Exactly. And what percentage of the vote did he get? This is not about him. He Cornell get, West oh, knows. So. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Cornell West knows he's not winning this. He this is not. Too. He is not a dumb man by any means. Cornell West is not stupid. And more to the point, my personal theory is he does. He has no desire to be president. He has no true desire to be president. That's not what this is about. Well, the most prominent theory well, yeah. running online via Black Twitter is, oh, he doing this split the votes from Biden. And duh, 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 duh. I don't believe it's that either. I don't believe it's that either. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't believe it's that, but I, I wonder. So, okay. So, my initial, when I saw it was Cornell West, I have a general stance and just show mm-hmm. black academics and black leaders and black civil rights we just respect. I just leave it, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't, I, I try to mm-hmm. generally, especially they alive and living. Let me keep it cute. I don't want yeah. to think, oh, you get a little Twitter popping and you think you could come up the side of your yeah. neck about, you know what I'm saying? Dr. Yeah, so, I was I like, it. I'm not saying nothing. I'm going to chill, right? Yeah. I, and I give the benefit of the doubt. So, when I first saw people's, the People's Party, I, I had a similar response to Afti, which was, what the fuck is this? You know, like, <laughs> I literally, I was like, I literally don't know any, like, I'm not educated enough on this party it's, to say anything. That's why we couldn't say Initially. That. Yeah. So that was my initial thought. And then my, one of my, one of my best friends, my white best friend said to me, he w- came out his neck about, uh, about, about a good old Dr. Cornell West. But immediately, once a white person says something, negative about it. I'm like, nah, I'm like, nah, my, 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 
being suspicious of the negative thing. So I immediately I dismiss him. I just I dismiss. Because what he said was he was like, oh, he's fucking crazy. He's out here on he wants he just wants Trump to win. He wants Trump to win. I was like, who? who the wants liberals Trump are in? big mad in a way I wasn't expecting. I'm sorry, no, go ahead. You didn't yeah. expect this. You didn't expect it. They I mean, want to get everybody behind Daddy Biden. You didn't want them to expect. You think you are I don't even pay attention. I I ain't checked out so hard from uh <laughs> Yeah, but no, I cut they, I cut all off though. Let me let me. No, I'm no, sorry. they went off immediately. No, that's fine. They went off immediately. You're right. I they they were hot, and so I was like, why is he saying like what the fuck? Cornell West and he wants Trump to win, and so I thought it was like a reductive argument, like one of those like oh, just because he's running as a third party candidate, that's what the inherent offense is, which I don't think is the case. I think there's a much larger conversation we need to have about third party and what's meaningful, and maybe maybe I think there's a I think it is a mistake that people do this. If you're gonna run. And my mentor put it this way. It's like, we need third-party people running in Congress. You could probably win that. Try that out. Let's get some third-party candidates in Congress first. Why don't y'all want to build from the... Why does everybody just want to jump on vanity projects at the last minute in the presidential election when shit is serious? I, that's my problem. Everybody's just doing it. And I, I feel like this. And I, my mentor uh, made this argument to me. RFK, right? That's that's one of them guys who's running right now, right? He has like a, a certain amount of little he has a, a little bit of numbers in the polls and we don't even know him, don't even RFK? care about him. Some Robert irrelevant Kennedy. guy. Robert mm-hmm. Kennedy. Yeah, is he a one. Kennedy? They have so many damn candidates, yeah, child. Sons, they got, they, and they gonna keep running, they, baby, until the wheels fall exactly. off. Exactly. They, they gonna just keep running right. every day. Every so they gonna so they have another one. one. So my thing was like, you know, these people, instead of running, like if you were really, if this is why I don't know. It's like, I want to give him the, the benefit of the doubt and not assume it's that you want Trump or some right wings foolishness. Although the block don't look too good on the evidence and what you've been recently saying and doing. Yeah. But at the same time, I can't, I'm like, well, then what would it be for? Because you're not, then why not run as a Democrat? If you were trying to push Biden to the left, you know what I mean? If you were there to like, be like, oh, this is what it is. And his, you know, his video speech kind of reads like what he's saying to us. It doesn't sound like he's saying, which kind of annoys me more. Again, vanity projects that when things are serious is like, I'm not trying to run for president. He was like, I believe in justice and philosophy and scholarship. And these things aren't important. They're not at the forefront right now. And I believe that this is a means to keeping this kind of stuff in the conversation. So I'm like, all right, cool. You know, an issue candidate to some degree, right? Like you want us to care about something, talk about something, or, you know, if you want to push Biden to the left, then go fucking Maybe not now, not now, not this, or run as a damn, but why are we running for the People's Party? What's that going to do? He said that in the past, though. That is still so vague. That is so vague. Here's the thing. He 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 has no chance of running as a damn because you saw what they did to Bernie. But that's what I'm saying. He might as well. What they going to do? Cornell don't got no, he in in an office. He he in anybody's cabinet. Is he a... He has said before, too. (laughs) he, he, He feels as though... And he said this. What, what was the quote? He said that he does not believe he, though he is a socialist, he is not a Marxist because he believes his religious beliefs cannot be melded with his uh, his personal stance of socialism. He believes that, but he also believes that the left, the current left leaning party in America, needs Jesus and all this. So all these different things. He just there's no stance. There's nothing. So I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna give you my galaxy brain take. And again, shout out to uh, BP at Overthrow Media and uh bellamy because people i've chatted up about this and then also just twitter because i had to do some twittering because i you know i'd be on and off left-wing twitter and you know they yeah they're an lot. interesting group but you will learn something you may not get it a balanced learning experience but yeah. you'll pick something up mm-hmm. here's my theory that i've gleaned now this is about um the people's party jumping the line for all other third parties this is about them jumping the line on the Libertarians. This is about them jumping the line on the Green Party. This is about them jumping the line on whomever else. So that I think that's true. Yeah, I think so that's they, true. And so, because like it, it's out, out. So the People's Party, if I'm not mistaken, came up under after Bernie, right? Yeah. So you got Sorry a lot of you right. You got a lot of debate, bro. Energy already. No shade to Bernie, but like that was a big part of his coalition. And from what I gleaned from the People's Party, like it's a lot of white leftist energy up in up in them streets. I I think it's that. I think it is that. I think it is the jump the line thing. But I think it's also, <laughs> I think it is 
Also this, as it pertains to um, the founder, numerous sources have corroborated sexual harassment allegations against the party's oh. founder, Nick Brana. Last year, former party member, former party member, Paula Jean Swearengen told journalists, somebody Higgins and Jordan Sheridan, that she had witnessed Brana try to force himself onto former, another party member, onto former party executive director Zana Day, who confirmed the allegations herself. Numerous party board members were apparently forced out for encouraging investigations into the allegations and questioning whether Brana was still fit to lead the party. After the allegations were made public, the party's social media accounts attacked and smeared those questioning the party's leadership actions. Other former party volunteers and members have accused the party leadership of lacking democratic organizational processes, having opaque finances, and being generally disrespectful, manifesting sometimes in ableism and racism, which, by the way, they get into a lot on Twitter. They, they came out recently and said MLK would be anti-woke. Who says yeah. they're always doing that shit, the conservatives? But I mean, like, yet again, I just want to reiterate, so, isn't this the same uh, 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 Cornell West? I just want to move over that. This is quick. No, I, sorry, I, I, your belly, I know. But like, hold on, like, just like, this is the same Cornell West, this is a quick point, the same Cornell West that wanted to go on hand in hand, buddy buddy up with Jimmy Dore for the People's Party in 2022. This is the same Cornell West, right? Dr. Cornell West, sorry. Anyway, um, Lee, sorry, because <laughs> yeah. I, I know this the this the you said because that is what conservatives do all the time. With the MLK. people, the Socialist Party said that uh, Martin Luther King would be against woke, woke stuff. The people's the People's Party, their their yeah. official Twitter account. <laughs> Hold on, hey son, so, so, Aaron, so, 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 Aaron so, please so, zoom so, in so, in slow motion on conscious just now. Do this. <laughs> 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 Please, please hit a slow motion and a freeze frame. <laughs> Unconscious. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Cornel West is the one that had the, the 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 very strong analysis for imperialism and, mm. and, and drones mm. and things like that for Obama, right? Yeah. Mm. So so and and, and and let's rewind this real fast. What the hell he said specifically about Ron DeSantimonium? What did he say? <laughs> he said that Ron DeSantis is exhibiting the spirit of a revolutionary by changing these fucking standardized tests to include more old white men. <laughs> that's, 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 a, that's a really, that's a pretty fair explanation of That's the nice version. That's the, nice, that's that's the version. nicest version I can give that's you. Not the, that's the new King James. Right there. And I'm gonna say I'm this. Gonna, I'm gonna add context to that. that. I'm gonna add and, context. And, and to hold that. on. What's important he, is he said it. The op-ed dropped May 12th. And this, he, he sits. Correct me if I'm wrong. Cornell West sits on the board of that organization. And here's something. Now, most of these these education companies and whatnot, because I run a nonprofit. Most of these education companies, like the people who run the SAT, people who run the ACTs and whatnot. You're, when you run a nonprofit, your board is not supposed to be paid. The only people whose boards kind of are still getting paid are these education companies. So he's very likely getting a check from be from co-signing this shit with Jeremy Tate and whatnot and the uh, classical learning test nonsense. Like he's very likely being paid to publicly come out and support this. So doc Dr. Cornell West, you're saying is actually <laughs> just using the talking points. And it, because he's getting, it's you know, it's, it's he's getting money. He's, he said it's a cash grab. <laughs> and because he sits on the board, um, it's like, it's a connection. So you do this for me, I got you kind of thing. You don't really have to believe it, but just did in the paper, say something about it a little bit. And then we all win. Is this, is this what you're telling me? Is this because I, I today just... said today, brother West said, I thank my dear brother. Oh God, Ru this tweet. <laughs> What's your brother? And if you say, we're not going to chance that, I'm done. Ah, no, no, it's not Ron DeSantis. It's not that bad, but oh, it's still bad. I, I love to, I love to fear in the room. <laughs> you going real slow, my anxiety. I, I thank my dear brother, Russell Brand, for not providing- Not Right. Not Wilson. <laughs> Russell Brand. Same Q A and on. Same Q A and on. Russell Brand. This way you know the shit. Russell Brand. You talking about Brand yes. sitting there in London? Or yeah. 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 Yes. 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 Russell Brand. For thank for providing the stage for my presidential announcement. Look at Conscious. Zoom in on Conscious again. Hey, Conscious. Your belly hurting. Hold on, Conscious. Conscious. And here's the final. Hey, here's the hook, line, and sinker. 
He is a progressive gem. Exclamation. The same feeling that I had for Kanye, where I was like, I was just like, oh, college dropper. Oh, drop, like, no, like, no. Let, no, I'm not saying he's ill. I'm saying let him fucking go. <laughs> let, let, the legacy, let, the legacy, let, the legacy, let the man fucking go. Let the man do him. He's he he doing it. Say let him go. Listen, Warren, and when you say let him go, are you saying like, you know, it's a toxic ex, let him go. Or are you saying like, let him go out there and figure it out, but we gonna take him No, back. don't go back for the dick. Don't go back for Don't go back no, no, so, I, Here's, so all right. Let me play Angel's look at, advocate look at for the a second. Heartbreat, yo, please. Yo, Aaron, conscious. We gotta get, conscious play face got to be the uh, Me and Conscious are probably a little bit in the same boat right now. Because y'all hit me with a lot and I just don't no, know. No, because Rebecca today, me and Rebecca talked this morning. Rebecca was like, you know, we love Brother West. We've had him on our show. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> like, yeah. I was like, me too. Me you too. Know, fam, you. We, we talk about doc, Dr. West. He's this Dr. Cornell. Dr. <laughs> Cornell West. Baby, we don't just be out here talking about Cornell. <laughs> no, you know, there's a lot of respect, but at the end of the day, like I said on my show earlier this morning, hey, I don't care. When you run for president, now I got to look at you different. Now I got to really go in and I have to see you for who you are. We have to what start- What would make him like, say Russell Brown is a progressive gem? Now, come on now. Shout out to everybody. Empty. You really- Empty. So, What's up? So, all right, let me get, let me, let me play Angel's Advocate for a second. <laughs> all right. And let's, let's, let's go positive <laughs> for a moment, right? Here's the reality of, of who Cornell is in the moment. He is this cycle's Bernie Sanders figure. And in that regard, no matter how much fuckery we have just went over and how much more fuckery we will probably have to engage in as we continue to dissect his recent behavior, because I've and this worst shit that I've heard about. To be honest with you, I don't know if Olay do, has do caught. Tell. No, I'm leaving it out. I, I, I'm, I'm googling what. Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna come back to the worst shit. Um, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna come back to the worst shit. I'm playing Angel's Advocate. No, FD. So <laughs> let, me, let me finish. His role right now is to inject the po the 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 popular discourse on electoral politics with a more overtly leftist um lens and that's What's what bernie mean? did in 2016 and 2020 mm -hmm. and while and while i never was a huge bernie fan i have to credit the fact that bernie created such a movement that it pushed a large chunk of millennials my age and younger which i'm assuming is y'all to re-engage with overtly leftist politics in a way. But is it, but is it, ooh, is it only, is it overtly leftist? Because he says it is, because so far he said, the Santis has a revolutionary spirit. <laughs> like, I haven't heard no, pol I ain't heard no plot with the policies. And let me the ask, I have not heard about no policy. I want to know, here's my thing. Just like Rebecca said, when you're running for president, I got to look at everything you do. I got to look at everything you said. I know some bullshit Biden said back in 74, I'm still pissed off about. Let me tell you something. <laughs> you're running for president. You're running for everybody. It's how it. So what does, that, what does Dr. Cornell West think about, about the, the surge in reproductive rights being so taken against, taken from women in this country? What does he feel? What does he plan to do about that? Where do you stand on education outside? Look at it. Yeah, but look at Cornel West trying to silence you. Cornel West trying to silence you. Cameron, listen. He's still going. All right. Wait, what happened? Cornel West tried to silence you. We don't know. Where did Cornel West try to silence you? No, because the way that it was cutting out just now, but where he stands. You saw like a Missy Elliott song just now. I in that video it. he dropped, though, it was giving, like I said, black exploitation. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got that feel like, listen, <laughs> y'all, I'm just working for the people's party. I ain't running for the right and I ain't running for the left. I'm like, okay, so you're not running for the right or for the left. He did mention um, something about black women, uh, health. He mentioned those things that we know black people are fighting for every day. And we know that because of his uh, position and, 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 and a lot of what he's fought for, a lot of what he's uh, taught, um, a lot of his philosophy sur surrounds that and stuff that we all fight for every day, talk about. Um, but it's like, okay, if you're saying that it's not on, you, you, can't, you can't relate to what the right does. You can't relate to what the left does because you are um, critical of how they move. Uh, so you're running for the People's Party. But what exactly does that mean? I just felt like it was in the two-minute-long video. 
It was just very, um, it was Russell, Russell, I, is that his name? It was Russell, I'm Russell Brand. Brand. I also in general, as a, as another like, um, more unexplored point, I don't know how I feel. Like even if the, let's say the people's party didn't, wasn't riddled of a million fucking reasons why that's not the party to be supporting. The founder is a rampant sexual abuser, all kinds of, com- and foolishness, the buffoonery. But let's say it wasn't. I don't even know if I, in general, the guy is some Nick Brown or whoever's the, run, the founder, or let's say some other person without these allegations. It's just some young, some, some of that white guy. Well, what is revolutionary about our, you know, our black, like intellectual leaders or whatever it is joining some white guy's party he created in 2017 and ain't done bullshit. Ain't on bail. What the fuck about that is? I don't understand that. Nobody but me. I don't feel like that's giving revolution. It's it's not it's, it's not giving not revolution. revolution. Y'all know what the, you know what's about to happen. This nigga gonna run. He gonna he gonna talk a good game. He gonna endorse Biden in October or some shit. Sorry. Let Conscious ain't ain't talking about. Well. Yeah, yeah. Conscious, please talk. I, just, I think that the, the the more I think about this and processing, it's just like uh, Doctor Doctor Cornell West coming off as being real anti intellectual and real re- real lazy from a political standpoint. I'm thinking. Thinking of this speech I heard uh, Dr. Michael Eric Dyson do when he was talking about Barack Ooh. Obama. He said something real smooth. I heard this shit not by 17, 18, but he said something like, I will not allow for my cultural pride to override the political accountability. And it's just like the thing that I'm hearing from all of us right here is like, hey, Pete Gang, culturally, nigga, we've been proud of you. We didn't heard about you our entire lives because of what you've been able to do for the black tradition in terms of academia. You try to run for president. Now we're talking about politics, and I think the political. I'm just thinking of like, fam, you, you, the way you fold your leftist legacy ideas with your conservative mumbo jumbo, like a sort of Christian mumbo jumbo. It, it really be coming up to me is like being like real slippery. And the more y'all talk, the more it's like I'm ready. I think I'm I'm confident to go full blown. <laughs> and let me tell you how else I'm going to do some bullshit, I'm going to go ahead and give it to you. You, after all these years, all these years, Dr. Cornel West, you finna link up with Tavis Smiley. You finna come out the gate with Tavis Smiley doing some radio show. They both hated Obama, though. Okay. They both hate. Yeah, and like, and like, and let me be clear. Let me be clear. I, I want to put some. Uh, he done told us with the heart of this. I'm going to put it out there. I'm, I'm a, I was a, I was a big Obama fan, and I remember siding, uh, being side eyeing Cornell when he was going after Obama, even though I didn't have a single good argument against what he was saying. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. and so and so, but I also still and I still will hold this this take. It was still very much clearly, um, what's the word? Uh, petty. Like yeah. it was, it was like these big political it, issues, but it also still felt very petty. Um, for, that Cornell made that his thing after yeah. all them years because, after he was supporting Obama, least, that's, that's and so it makes perfect sense for him to connect to uh, Tavis because Tavis that was his move no, too. No, it don't make I sense. Though, let me tell beforehand. you why it don't make sense because it go back to what Olay said. Why is it, why, homeboy who runs who's founded the People's Party? You got all these sexual assault allegations, baby. PBS fired Tavis oh. Smiley a year ago for them sexual assault allegations. Why is everybody around you on some bullshit? That's how I know you on some bullshit. Mm-hmm. Not the <laughs> I forgot about they Tavis. PBS fired doing... Tavis last year. And that was, and it had just had shit like that beforehand, though, because that's what got him on BET, wasn't it? Years. Yeah. Sure. PBS is fine. PBS fired him last year for that. It isn't looking good. It's not looking good. We're on day one. I really thought we were going to be more 50 50. This is all bad. No, I thought we were. We said it's not. We said be proud of him. We said we're proud of him. We're very proud. We're, see, this is the thing. Initially, He's now I... running for president. And this is where it gets <laughs> different because we have to start looking at him for who he is. We're not little That's just like how people old. loved. We are now trying to know, okay, who the hell is trying to be president? I, I love that about black people, though. I really love about how black people literally can decide this is totally okay once you are in this lane. But the minute, like, you know what I think is so funny? 
Everybody knew. Ex- I literally remember this, right? My wife. Because <laughs> remember, there was a time they loved Kamala, right? Even though I know Kamala's a cop and all that. Da, 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 da. But I remember this. My white friend was so excited. Like, Kamala's going to run for president. Black people. I said, listen to me. The minute she announces she running for president, niggas are going to say, that bitch is a cop. <laughs> like, they're going to say, fuck no. It's different. You can be like, you could be a regular politician. You could say you switched up as a general politician and be on Twitter. And that's real cute. Now what? Where are you trying to be? The white whale? No. No. It's been nothing but smoke and prices really and like, vibes ever since she like got porn. up in there. Because we already voted. If you just we being an intellectual, black person. people don't click links no way. If he just out there being a public intellectual, reading, writing, we didn't even know about that op-ed dropped until no. now. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, it's yeah. fine. We have, we're not looking into, we know who our black intellectuals are. We know yeah, the race we're not keeping up. We know. And we're like, y'all, you're fine. You're fine. Carry on. Carry on smartly. It's, it's only when they come in our face. With announcements talking about they running for shit. We're like, wait, 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 wait. There are two dementors trying to take on Biden who could already barely stay alive, <laughs> like for the White House, okay? The block is hot. Like, it, maybe not now. No, not it, it, it just hit me that this whole thing. Go ahead, Conscious. Go ahead. I'm about to say, hey, Rebecca, you got it. I'm sorry. Rebecca, Rebecca, I, I got you caught for Rebecca. Wait, I'll, I'll say real quick we're not doing that thing where we're voting. We did that with President Obama. That was like literally almost 10 mm-hmm. years ago, mm-hmm. right? We are not doing that anymore. We're voting because the person is black. No, now we're like, you black and... <laughs> we learned that from you, Dr. West. <laughs> yeah, <whatever. laughs> Dr. West. Conscious. It's 2023. So it's like, hey, that was 15 years ago. That was damn near 20 years. It was close to the 20 years We ago. all out of them passes. Baby. Oh you know what I'm saying? God. But so, so so for me, I start thinking like, man, um, the 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 more this conversation goes, it's like we not no fools. If it's exactly, and I want to say this in that same vein, conscious. You are absolutely <laughs> correct. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Gabrielle is working for the prosecution. Okay, oh, Gabrielle. I, I, I don't have no pity for this man. I don't give a fuck about that. The green, the green, the green, okay, the green party, the, Sorry, the green party gave Gabrielle a bag. To show up here today Not- and drag him. The Green Party said, Gabby, I don't give a fuck about him. none of that. I'm fine. I, 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 I don't care. <laughs> I am stateless. I am a Korean PWI. I've been to no HBCU. I don't have love to the HBCU people. I don't have no affinity for that. I don't give a fuck about that, man. I'm going to say how it is. I believe in everything you said, but in the same vein of what you're saying, every election cycle, Black people are blamed for everything. If your fave loses, black people fall. If your fave win, black people still didn't vote hard enough. We vote in the 80, 90 percentiles. Whatever. We vote more than any other de- minority demographic. But if your fave didn't win, oh or if your fave didn't win by an acceptable margin, no matter what, it's black people's fault. And I'm going to say this. We are absolutely, like Rebecca said, I love what she said about going when once you run, you are running for president. Now we got to look at everything you said. Let me tell you something. I, I'm i not with that, oh, black people going to save the soul of the country and all this other kind of nonsense. Cornel West is also kind of playing into that where, oh, the soul of the country at stake and whatnot. No, for me, why can't you cater to me? Why can't you pander to me the way you pander to everybody else, the way everybody else gets to be pandered to, the way you get to be? Why can't I be a single issue voter? Why does my vote, why does me voting have to be for the greater good? And we have to vote autonomously for one person or the whole whole of the earth going to fall apart. No, I care about certain issues and I want to know what you think about those issues. So I am not with that. Oh, I'm going to vote for the soul of America. We got to save everybody. No. No. <laughs> Pay off my student debt. Pay off my student debt. <laughs> suck my dick. And that's what I got to say. Uh, but listen Aaron, up. Turns Aaron, up. Bl- Speaking of dicks. Aaron, I, please put that at the beginning. <laughs> I really, I really, I really, I feel like it, like, 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 like in the same vein of dicks. I think that Dr. West been playing that I think he's me something on his dick on the security. <laughs> I just shared. I, I, don't, I, just, I just shared a video on TikTok. Look, Rebecca, Rebecca, feel bad. Rebecca said, "Oh, we like Dr. West at our show." I have to get back. <laughs> no, 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 no. Rebecca, over there. Hey, Dr. West was just cheeking up with Candace Owens, talking about. No, he wasn't. No, that's not. Go. I, 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 Is there go video on, footage? Go to TikTok. Can go to YouTube right careful. now and type in Dr. West and Candace Owens. Now, Candace Owens talking to him and calling if, him a leftist. It's that is officially the moment yeah. where I stop being respectful. No, that ain't 
hey, you know, you, you know, you gotta know what you you're like. Hey, is a, I got a, I got a lot of grace. You know, some things, some things. It's like, is that a crime? You know, that could be harm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe that's a misstep. Maybe that's a mistake. But you said the minute you said Candace Owens, the factory in my brain just started opening the doors for disrespect. Whoa. I said, okay, but it's the same we reason. Officially, he did in the debate her. He debated her last year. He debated oh. her, but. But not only did but something yeah. that can happen though, where he's already to me either being strategic and trying to appeal to conservative constituents and or he's already getting into conservative clout chasing gripping type shit. Because what he did to her is legitimize, and let's, let's be real, she has some great criticisms for, for leftists and liberals. Some of them shits is half of the bullshit and half of the good for, for consciously, right? For me, he, he really justified and gave a lot of credence to damn near all the criticisms towards the left. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, actually, sister, I agree with you when you say this about what you say about the left. I just don't think you should go to the right. And it's like, I'm now thinking okay. about this. It's like, so almost my question would be to, to almost, um, hey, um, say um, Uncle Doctor, Uncle Doctor West, <laughs> how long has you been thinking about doing this president shit? When you, <laughs> no, 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 that's, no, that's valid. When you was talking to Candace Owens, did you are was you already thinking about and contemplating on being president? Oh, that answer is no. no. That answer is no. And let me say something. Go, go on to Candace Owens. <laughs> that answer is absolutely not. Rebecca, okay, Pat, Rebecca, you talk because you was trying to say something. No, Rebecca. no, no. I'm gonna say this. It's not that. You know, it, it is Dr. West, right? Dr. Cornell West. But like I said, you're not above the criticism that's going to happen because you want to run for president. I would have loved to know, like you said, Conscious, when you were sitting there talking to, um, uh, oh, girl, uh, Candace, did you know that you were running for president? And, you, and you know, like, I, like I, now I'm starting to look at these things. Now that you are running for president, I got to look at you from a different view. I got to look at you from the, the three. I, now I got to look at the bones that's falling at your closet. We got to go digging because we need to know who's going to be our representation. It's not because you're black. We respect you for everything that you've done. You know, like like Ole said, you were in one lane. We were all like, yeah, Dr. West. I ain't like that too much, but you Dr. West. But as a president, <laughs> it's going to be like, no, sir, the kids are hungry. What are you going to do about that? Women's health, black women specifically, what are you going to do about that? As a representation for black people, how are you going to do? We got to know that you're not going to be sitting up there uh, as a black representation like Kamala Harris, uh, who's sitting in that seat and said that America isn't racist, but yet yeah. put in and put, put something in place for Asians to be protected from harm and hate crime. This is what we need to, the, these are the conversations that we need to know. We need to know who you're going to be when you get in that place of leadership as a representation. Yeah, well, you're not trying to be there. You're ready to clear. know after you talk. It, I, it's becoming abundantly clear the more I think about this that this don't got shit to do with us. Thank you. Thank you. This don't got Thank this you, don't got like you. like especially like as you're talking, like I'm thinking like all right, so we got in the last forty eight hours, in the last month, we got the Santis, we got uh this whole wild ass party, we got Russell Brand. He ain't talked to no niggas yet. <laughs> yeah, Russell Brand do the day. Uh, and Russell video for him and russell brand is like russell brand is uh uh one of them both sides ass niggas which is like <laughs> you know and like i and I'm, I'm okay with criticizing <laughs> i mean like i don't i wouldn't even call i won't call him a liberal to be like nice but he definitely one of them both sides free thinker um hydrochloroquin ass niggas you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like, all right, so it's clear where he's going with this and where this party is leading. It's it's a they're trying to create a populist leftist movement, and I'm not feeling he it right just now. A, I'm not feeling it at all. In your same vein, he is just he is in 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 his essence a provocateur. He's going to a Russell Brand, he's going he to a Tavis Smiley because he knows that these these are people who are not even Charlemagne would at least have a couple questions about this on the Breakfast Club. He is going to people <laughs> who are not going to interrogate this in any real direct way. What, where do you stand on these issues? How do you feel about this? How do you plan to combat Trump? What do you think yeah. about our militarization plan? Yeah. He's not going to people who, even if he were to go to, if he were serious about this, if he if he were to go to one of his alma mater, if he were to go to um, Harvard, go to Yale, announce this there, it would give him way more legitimacy, way more uh, oomph behind his campaign. Like, hey, I'm serious about this. He is not looking for legitimacy. But so I don't. So here's the thing, though, and this is not me disagreeing with you, but he's still Dr. Cornell West. He can talk that mm -hmm. shit, and this is what's gonna happen. 
He came, he's he right now, he he just all alley oops with his white folks. Oh, Russell Brand, Ron DeSantis, Candace Owens, whatever. It's all alley oops. When he gets to Charlemagne, because you best believe Charlemagne's gonna interview him about yeah. this. He he is going to he's going to say all the things, and he's gonna get us. He gonna reel us in. He ain't talking to no niggas yet because he know I'll get to y'all niggas when y'all when I'm ready. Because so I got, I got exactly I like what y'all that. want, so and I don't like that either. Because I don't like, like that. Don't especially if you especially if you don't think you can win. Like this is my thing. Like if you doing something, it's one thing. If, it's one thing in the Obama world when we used to justify. We used to my mommy and everybody used to justify Obama not doing stuff for niggas because it was like, oh, he's in this position where the white people they expect this. Da, 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 but that's that we dealing with a winner. We know. We know. He knows. <laughs> everybody knows. Okay, nothing okay. about this. Nothing about this is the goal set to win. Regardless of what the reasons are for everything else for running it, he knows he's not going to win. That's not the plan. So if if your actual agenda was in any way rooted in doing for us and you're not planning to win, you're not planning to get that, would you not be talking to the niggas, talking for the niggas, like speaking to those issues? You need to be on Tamron Hall like, School. Yeah. You need to be on uh, Steve Harvey reading the strawberry letter somewhere. You need to be <laughs> you need to be up here. Man. I, I think I think FB. I feel like I'm much where we can uh, 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 extend the argument and the analysis that FB made earlier. It's just showing that a lot of the people that come from that generation, uh, that legacy, they still have this desire to be situated amongst whiteness and have a proximity to white yes. people. And this really showing with this political strategy. You yes. do, you have all these great criticisms for Democrats and how Democrats treat niggas as being the the the, the afterthought. You're doing it right now. Niggas are about to do that. Damn, problem. he is. Well, like, that's what I'm saying. All the that, things. That's real no, tea. Like, what, what? I, in August, I agree. September, I, 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 I want us to. He got to the end of the week. I when, oh, 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 like, when is drop? When is drop? Oh, yeah. oh, I'm gonna put it on by like Thursday, Thursday, Friday is the black. Right, give him, like, give him till Dr. Cornell West. He should have, like you said, I'm sorry on this one, okay? Sorry to that <laughs> man because it, that's Dr. Cornell West, baby, <laughs> uh, the speaker for the black folks. He done did some things wrong. And we was like, all right, this Dr. Cornell West now, okay? Is and now look, you, you should have been out the gate with black folks. You should have been, like you said, on Tamron Hall. You should have been talking to Simone over there at what MSNBC or wherever she at. You should have been talking to them people and here you go he's not ready for I them understand. questions he's not ready I, for this I, un- I, I understand think he is we, though we, that's, we, that's we, a scary thing because like, like we're super critical but like we, we're we we're not the norm in, in this conversation yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? No, I know. Because the shade room, no, no, no better. And that's what breaks my heart because they, no, I swear to God, it really upset me. It really upset me. And I seen a couple of also don't know nothing niggas encouraging them because they hear people's party and they hear, oh, independent third party, blah, blah, blah. They're not on Twitter. They don't know nothing. And, and they're not going to look into it. It's just like, that's oh, they, they, they super, folks, yo, they super yo, the whole for party it. is pulling, damn, the whole, this is the fucking Democrats. This is their playbook. Fuck, I didn't even peep that initially. No, like, this is it's really what it's coming down to, and that's the reason why it's, it's oh. the reason why I'm kind of annoyed. Is just like, hey, you you've given us a lot of tools to be able to use, and you acting like the old school teacher that's now pissed off that you didn't educate the students so much, and now you have to be held accountable for the very tools you didn't taught us how to sharp with. Don't yeah. teach me how to swing this goddamn knife, and you don't know when I swing it at your ass how to do it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, hey, hey. From a word. Smiley in a lot of those black, old school, conservative, moderate, liberal, da, 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 they really bind into, I feel like, the alt right pipeline. The alt right pipeline. What's the white apologist for me on the left? Yo, side. and to something else you said earlier, conscious. Generational. Now the culture war is being generational, and now Cornell West is literally linking up with people he's been fighting with since I, I'm 32 years old. Uh, nigga, you've been fighting with them motherfuckers for 50 years. Hey. <laughs> you you got beef with me and young folks they got smoke for you and now all of a sudden yeah you were you linked up with a party that said that martin luther king would be against the woke movement yes and 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 what concerns me right is you saying like you want to give it the bit like i wish that i wish that he was somebody like a biden where i'm like that man not really even alive like he's a zombie like he's always yeah. not there but it's clear He's operating. He has all the wherewithal. And that concerns me if last year you was talk you was 
chopping it up with Candace, uh, Candace Owens and being like, yeah, agreeing to corporate criticisms and a laugh. Because if you're doing that, that's consistent with you joining a party where they on Twitter criticizing the laughing anti-woke and using MLK and stuff like that. And that's foolish. Like I said from my earlier, what I'm unimpressed by just fundamentally is this all, all black man? If you're going to go do something on your own, if you're going to go do something for purposes and meaning, I judge you by what you do. Like, in a sense, we build careers. We in white America. We in white professional spaces. We don't get to choose the environment often. But when we do our own shit, it says a lot. You know what I mean? When you have your own metrics in what it is, right? Like, I've been on a bunch of white people's show. This is my show. First set of collaborations, everybody's black. That says something to me. If you're not trying to win, you know what I mean? If you're not trying to win and you should be here for, for, for the community, you should be trying to say something. That's what you're saying. You You've always fought for this. This is the fight that you want to do. What exactly are you teaching us other than to hop out at the last minute to do something that appears to be a vanity project that you have no intention to carry to the fullest? You're not giving us any like platform. You're not talking directly to us or for us or even about us. It seems you linked up with this like brand new baby white party that's run by some like some baby white boy with a bunch of accusations, a bunch of sexual assault allegations and a in a public online known persona for being anti the typical things that the black community overwhelmingly supports and votes in favor of so who you here for my guy all oh, right no right. i don't yeah. even think it's that conscious i gotta tell you i don't even think it's that here's the thing i think that, i do kind of think it's that i do kind of i don't think it's, think it's entirely I that. that i am not disagreeing with you entirely but here's the thing i think that that is not entirely his aim as learned and as educated and as incredibly smart as Dr. Cornell West is. I think that he is from a gen- a different generation and he is working by an entirely different playbook that does not work anymore because the, the politics of old demanded that you go and appeal to white folks first because the under the assumption that we're just going to all, us as black people are just going to fall in line. Whoever's going to fall in line is going to fall in line. That is not the same. He's working under the same respectability politic pull yourself up by your bootstrap. He also has to contend with the fact, probably why he went to Tavis Smiley, he also, he also has to contend with the fact that the base, even, old, even other older Black people, our elders, blame young Black progressives for, the, one, the state of the party, two, for how they, they, they are equivocating, oh, mm. you know, all these people out here in the streets and violence and y'all to protest and da, 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 y'all, we wouldn't like that back then. We wouldn't do all this. All that is a symptom of the old playbook that he has to contend with that. So you're right. That's he true. Has to but it is giving new, but unfortunately it's giving new performative. It's, it's giving very, okay, it's old very playbook sentiments, I'm, old I'm, playbook I'm, sentiments with new performative I'm, shortcomings. I'm, I'm, I agree to that. But at the same time, we can roll just right back to the beginning. <laughs> um, when uh, Dr. Cornell West, as we, as my heart Dr. broke, West. Uh, my <laughs> Dr. West, um, as, as my heart broke into pieces, as you guys, it just broke, broke uh, as you guys stated that he did um, give some kind of accolades to um, Ronaldo <laughs> DeSantis uh, out in Florida. And, 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 and that oh. breaks me because as an educator, and, and, the, and the part that he gave him uh, um, uh, some, some daps for us, so it, it's literally like, about education and you know what that man is doing out there in florida when it comes to education he is stripping all things black anything black history that was what blew me that, too so that that didn't sit well with me and as, as somebody that we've learned about in our schools and you know i know you went to a pwi sis both of y'all but i you know going to an hbcu they literally embedded him as one of the gods into us like yeah doctor. Cornell West. And of course, you know, even going to those schools, it, there, there's like a hierarchy, there's a sense of royalty and, and how you carry yourself. There is a conservative space of that, of, of, of the way of old um, and how to carry yourself. But I thought he was like a free thinker, mm. right? And the same as that's, 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 like that's, that's the branding. Yeah, I, I, I read, I've, I've read some of his work and like seen some of his speeches and shit. I ain't know, I ain't know how he was moving. And it's always different between like what your product is and what your what your movements are. And I'm just out of respect for Cornell West. <laughs> we gonna have to Cornell West, Cornell West. Yeah. Wow. We, we, Kanye West, Cornell West. See, this I was talking about this earlier. And I'm like, you got Kanye who's running. He said he runs twenty four twenty four. Did he say that? And then we got a doctor, Dr. Cornell West, who's also running. But at the same time, both of them, I you know, Kanye out there, way out there, just out there, isolated on an island alone, uh, but people gonna vote for him. And, and and then we have Dr. Cornell West, who I would have loved to see him come out the gate 
with like I would have loved to see like if this is a Tyler Perry or, or this is a Tyler Perry production for his, <laughs> for his um damn campaign. Yeah, we'd have drug him for that too. Let's keep it you real. Know, but but <laughs> at least we know was black, right? But yeah. he, he could have did Oprah right? and it would have it'd have been fine. I'd have been he, okay with Oprah. He could have come out with listen, my thing is like let oh. me believe that your ideology around it is at least legitimate. Like it, it's a problem if I look into it in the most recent op ads I see, like present day, it is it is unmistakable the kind of hell that is being rained on across the country when it comes to book banning, you know, um, yeah. uh, attacking education, transit, all these different things. And you mean in this time, May, May twelfth, <laughs> that was yesterday. May I three weeks ago. I, Hey, my guy. And, you know, and and then that made me think, and I and this is something I want y'all to stake on, because I wasn't thinking, I, I try not to 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 get into too much, all taking votes away from, but what I thought this when my mentor raised it to me, is if RFK is able to be polling as well as he is, and we don't even know R, RFK, and he's way less popular, and you see black people are actually, the not black people, not black people Twitter, black people Shade Room, black people Facebook, black people Instagram, which are, I think they outnumber us. They outnumber black Twitter. And they definitely and do. Different population, and they are here for it. And if RFK could get that, I do think there might be a legitimate concern, and I'm, I'm, I'm not saying it to be mad at him, but I do think there is a legitimate concern that he is able to take away some, you know what I mean? And I, I don't like a bias. So but, but tell, me about, tell me your thoughts on that, FD. I don't think, at, at the end of the day, um, I don't think the numbers, I don't think it's going to be a, that big a deal. You think the be reality normal? is, so like, like we, we talking about Facebook shade room, but you also got to, I mean, you talking about uh, black Facebook, black shade room, but you got to remember black church is who going to vote. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and they voting for Biden. And it's, it's only going to matter in what four, five states. Yeah. Uh, and in those four, five states, the, these people got this shit down to a science. They, they, it's who going to spend yeah. the most money, who got the machine going. So, you know, uh, they they're not gonna campaign at all at in Florida. All. They're gonna campaign their asses off in Georgia. They're yeah. gonna plug Stacy back in in they Georgia. They ain't coming to Louisiana they at gonna, all. Gonna, I can tell you. They gonna hit up the Midwest. They they probably still gonna get the Midwest. And if they get the Midwest, like I I'm I'm more worried about DeSantis than Trump right now. Just because I don't think I was initially, but not now. Yeah. Well, was... well, I'm still. You know, it's long. It's a long trek. Yeah. Right. But... This nigga Trump, Trump be in jail by the time uh, the, the shit <laughs> ends. Uh, I'm more worried about DeSantis and Trump because I think DeSantis has a better chance of beating Biden in the general. I think so too. Trump. But I, I think DeSantis would be Biden, but I don't think DeSantis is going to be Trump. I think Trump is whooping DeSantis' I don't ass. Know. He's hey, Trump he is, he is now. DeSantis. He been busting that ass all across, <laughs> like fucking like- him up. The same as standing up to Disney World, okay? Out. Like Disney World, <laughs> he's in Disney World. He's fighting them. He's problematic, but, baby. He's not. He's no, he's a demon. This, like, listen to me, DeSantis, and I did a whole video on this. DeSantis is a bigger problem to me than Trump because yeah. let me tell you why. Because DeSantis is playing by the why I believe he'd beat Biden. It's because he's playing by old old and America. Trump, you know I what I mean? And DeSantis very serious, what he not says. the theat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He he not into the theatrics that he playing old politician. What they like to get back to, but he doing he playing to the right by doing all of the most evil far right shit to prove to them like, hey, I can contend. But trust me, he's a bigger problem than a Trump. Like, but I don't. Th- but I think Trump is gonna beat him. In the, in, to be yeah. somebody who's only three generations removed from what what was it Italy or whatever the case may be Italian. That's why I say I thought he was uh, uh, Latino. He wants no. to be removed from his like. Uh, Listen, yeah, he trying to Americanize of his life. Yeah, we know yeah. you white, but immigration, you know, you know, come on now. You still well, got like four, down. five, six folks in your family who can't speak English somewhere. They don't care. The they don't and care. he doesn't care. He wants they have, that. They have message. non-English speakers voting Republican too. Yeah. White people do not care about white people. They let's let's, about let's that. understand that. They, if white people cared about people. white people, so, so many of the other problems would be nah, solved. No, right. white people. White people care about whiteness. White, yes, whiteness. The difference. Yeah, yeah, that's you a can be a black market. person functioning in absolutely, white supremacy, and you can do that. And 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 Ron, Ron, who's white, we know, but he he is going to push every extremist white view and get away with it. And and the way that he does it as governor is sickening. I'm yeah. from Florida, and to know all that's happening down there, especially in South Florida, where it's literally immigrant land, and for him to just despise those people and them white Cubans is absolutely eating it up. They are loving mm-hmm. this conservative love view. You know, I will vote 
Oh, darn little toy. They are they down there just uh, uh, <laughs> doing all kinds of merengue bachata down there, just <laughs> like just to make sure that they stay conservative because being a white conservative will always separate them from the rest. Barely the that are being sent home, and the darker ones. It, but this is what um, Ronald Ronaldo the Santos. He is literally a <laughs> down there. He yeah. is, he's trying to make it so much where it's like, if you do not look like this, if you don't talk like this, if you don't walk like this, if you don't meet this criteria, then we can't serve you. And we do not want our children to learn anything but this. It's not about the guns. This is what Ron DeSantis is saying down there. This is why it's really dangerous. It's not about the guns. It's about the drag queen. And the yeah. people are like, oh my God, he's brilliant. Oh my God. <laughs> like, this- oh. No, yeah. that's fine. And, and, and that's kind of why, so bring it back to like the finishable point. So Florida's a wash, right? Texas is a wash. All these states are a wash. Georgia. You know, but like the handful of states where um, it's a it's a it's a battleground state. um, The the I don't think Cornell will be like able to do anything. Clyburn is going to handle that, right? (laughs) And and Clyburn and his network are going to handle Cornell um, probably early. As soon as soon as it feels like Cornell's doing too much. They're gonna handle that, and and considering the baggage that we've uncovered, yeah, like they're gonna you, handle it easily. They're, they're gonna, gonna handle, handle it easily because Cornell. If we, if we if we're like really keeping it a buck, although Cornell has always had love. I went to Clark, right? oh, so yeah, I'm also yeah, HCU yeah. grad. Yep. So although Cornell has always had a lot of love from like the black academics okay. and the black academic spaces, because he's like the the highest like achiever within that community. Yeah. Cornell ain't never really fucked with niggas. Yeah. Cornell Cornell ain't never really been 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 like a true like running uh you know he he got arrested on purpose, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was Black Lives Matter a couple of years not, ago. Not on purpose. Yeah, I mean like ass. Yeah, because he had his whole body, he had his whole team with him. That's not like shout out to BP. It BP pointed him out to him. I mean, it was low key a photo. It was, you know, it was low key a photo op. I don't know all the but details. But that's the point, though. That's the but point. I believe he it. need us. He need yeah. us. For any anybody running, anybody Biden, anybody they know they need us for the workload, but they don't need us for the optics. And that's why the way yeah. to the promised land for Cornell West, Doctor Cornell West, has never been to play K for Black people. It is to be just learned enough. And just outspoken enough about black issues and you have the credibility of the movement that he grew up in and he inherited. We all inherit the movement as black people in this country. He is not somebody at this point who needs to come to us and be like, hey, I need y'all. We need to do this together. That is not where he is. He's And he's long been past that. Yeah. 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 So, Abdi, how you, how, you, how you feeling, Abdi? How would it round out for you? I feel like <laughs> shit, man. I feel like shit. I was so, like, I was so excited. I was fighting niggas on Twitter for about 15 minutes. Like, no, Cornell, no. <laughs> Why y'all saying all this about know, Cornell I, West? I, what I you mean? I saw the moment when you tweeted. I knew it was a right. I knew the turnaround happened when you tweeted. I guess I got to gotta... I I research the people. <laughs> when I saw that, when I saw that, I said, me too, nigga. Let me don't tweet. Like, the minute I saw that, I was like, I have to take a page. <laughs> Your book and spare my You see how they took his <laughs> hand and they held his hand through that. Meanwhile, I've been called a bed winch and everything else on Twitter. <laughs> Girl, because you know when you come after Dr. Cornell West and, and any of the related folks, it's going to be, it's it's not gonna be good. That's why even on my show today, I just kind of walked the line where I said, <laughs> Well, we just gonna have to see, you know. I'm gonna have to go check out what the People's Party is talking about. We're gonna just take a look. It looks like, like a minor yeah. party that may not even be uh, a party that can even win, honestly. Or, <laughs> or, or, or general states. We're gonna look at it though. But Dr. Cornell West, we're gonna keep our eye on you. That's all I have this morning. Okay. <laughs> no, same. You, you, I was like, I need to have a discussion. That's all I can have is a round table discussion. <laughs> right. If I can go Galaxy Brain for a second, then I'm, I'm yes. gonna run and jump on this editing. Yes. I've been saying for years now that what we're what we're gonna eventually face, like as, as as scary and ridiculous as Republicans have been, they're getting that scary and ridiculous because they're kind of running out of fuel for their politics and movement. Yeah, and I, I've been saying that what you're gonna eventually see is the Democrats take their appropriate place as the conservative mm. party, and something else spring up as the new left, and. 
I think this is an example of what is eventually going to happen with the new left, yeah. because the new left is going to be maybe maybe like on maybe like a couple, you know, a few notches better than what we've gotten from Democrats. Like it'd be it'd be hard to be that bad. Right. Mm -hmm. But they still going to be full of fuckery. If this is yep. like the type of moves that they're going to come out the gate with, if this is the type yeah. of ethos they're going to run with, because this is definitely a, this is definitely like, this is fucking TikTok. It's like, let's get the blackest thing we get, we have access to get out there, do the fucking dance and shit. <laughs> we know black people going to come through eventually. Cause he's going to talk that like, he's going to talk that shit. As soon as he gets on Charlemagne, that's going to go yeah. viral. Yeah. Cause he's going to say some of the realest shit we've heard uh, in, in 10 years what and, and everything. And they're supposed to be behind do we, them. But do we? But do we think? I, honestly, I'm I'm losing, I'm losing faith. I feel like the like I'm not sure. I know it's only been it only just happened, but it's just not giving me. He about to come out here and really like chop it up. I'm not sure what the play is. And, and he and, and does I, I not. Think that's what I'm trying to figure out. He's not play. gonna chop it up for all black people. And I'm gonna say something. Y'all ain't gonna like it, and y'all ain't gonna like me. But I'm gonna say this. <laughs> Cornell West is not is not gonna be in in his most fervorous moment is not going to be out here representing black queer people, black women. He is not going to be, it, it is going to be a very cis heteropatriarchal we all black. It's going to be very elitist. It's going to be very cool. Very black excellence. Like bootstrap son type of shit. That is what it's going to be. And yeah, it's going to go viral and it's going to hit real hard once he gets on that church circuit and he go, starts going to the churches and talking to them. That's when it's going to hit. But we know who's going to be left out in the cold with this. And it's always who's left out in the cold. We're not going to see Cornell West linking up with Stacey Abrams in Georgia and whatnot and all this. And all that. We're not going to see any of that. We're not going to see any of that. He is a lone wolf in this regard, as he deserves to be, because he is not running to be everybody's president. He gonna go to the, he's already talked about it. This is, I'm, I'm sorry, now I got to go. He's already announced that he's not heading to rural America to talk to poor white go. people. He has not said shit about going to the hood. You see? Yet. You see what I'm saying? He has you not said saying? shit about there going to the hood. You see what I'm saying? Yet. We got, you we see what I'm saying? Gotta, we got to run that because the commercial tells me everything I needed to know. I really didn't hear much. I just heard the main talking points about, um, about like, you know, the main things, right? Oh, black health and this and that. But it was just giving me more so like, a movie that was coming out because he knows he really knows what he is to black people and he's going off of that celebrity beyond the celebrity i need to know what you can represent because like you said it's not giving me that you're actually here to represent you said gabrielle it's a cash grab i'm not mad i'm not exactly mad Say, at what you said you um i'm not upset. I'm not, upset. <laughs> I'm not upset but I'll say like, you know, I, I don't want to give him till Friday. I'm actually upset that he didn't come out of the gate. That's what I'm it, saying. It should just a be black a black ass campaign. Yeah, if you're doing your own thing. I've had that conversation with Rebecca um, like a bunch of times, right? I'm, I'm like, you know, when you see other people's shows, you go in the media space and all these different things and you think like it can only be like, this is just generally how it all is because that's what everybody's thing is. But you see clearly and you can really experience like what people are like and what they stand for when they have their own thing. You know what I mean? What they create on their own. And that's why I'm like, if you watch my show versus any of my media appearances, very different place. It's a very different place, okay? It's a very black landscape because that's what I'm into. You see what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. when I can choose to guess, when I choose to this. So I'm like, if you're just doing something, if you were just doing something, not to win, your motivation should be primarily, your focus should be black people, the black community, the black liberation, the black voice. That Period. should be what it is about that. If you want me to get on board with some artificial shit that's just for, you know, symbolic movement, rhetoric, blah, 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 then it should be black. It should be black centered. It should be black focused. It should be black led. Especially that's what you so built your brand fight. on. You have a 50 year brand behind black that's shit, it. black people, black elite, black positive, black education, your brand. The reason people know who you are is because of black people. We are the people who build you up. We pay your bills. We got you to where you are. You are the ethos of black culture. When people want to speak about black culture, they call Cornell West. Mm -hmm. So to come out the gate exactly. for a presidential campaign and immediately say, fuck y'all, Exactly. Because essentially, that's what I heard. Exactly. And I said, my, so just even just even in today, <laughs> when you said Russell Brand, I had to really it didn't fit. I said that doesn't sound political too much. It really is giving me entertainment. And if we're talking about entertainment, this becomes performative. That whole campaign video was very like, like it was just like let's look at him for the black, the black man from back in the day. But he's <laughs> the black man. 
He's the no, man. No. Or no, West Camp. That's what it was giving me. And then I had a problem He's with that. And I didn't like it. And I said, man, I wanted something stronger. I don't care if he was sit there, sitting outside with a whole bunch of poor people or, or sitting down with some black folks who are working class or whatever, having conversations. I would have rather something real, real and authentic because a lot of how we move is off of what he's been teaching for like literally over a few decades. This is what we're going off of. And you come out the gate on some new shit. It don't, it don't sit right with you. Hey, and just like that, and it came down to it, and only black women were left. Like, yes, <laughs> yeah, ain't that always it? Ain't that it? It, 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 it it's very telling. It's very telling. Listen, thank you, my wonderful. Thank you. I told y'all this is gonna be great. It was good. This is lovely. Yes, oh, like, thank y'all so much. Cornell West. I had decided this is my first collaboration on my show because I decided I wasn't. Wow, of course Uber calls me right now. It's really, the disrespect is crazy. We've been sitting there this whole time. Wow, hold on. I can't, I'm trying to have a show. Hi, the, the door? The is, it's, it's definitely working, exactly, yeah.